Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo. We're finding, turning, learning, burning the great strategy games. And today we're going to get back into Warhammer 40k Battle Sector. I'm really enjoying this. I've been playing around with it on the side here, which actually means we're going to go into a different mission. Because in the first mission, didn't really know what I was doing. Now I think I have a better grasp on the game and how it works. Now I've got the sound up because I, I like the soundtrack that they have for the game. I feel like it kind of adds a little bit of the ambiance of what they're trying to capture here. So I've got that up. Uh, if it's annoying, let me know. I can always turn that down. And we're just going to jump in here to Age of Crimson Dawn rearm and resupply and uh so slytherin was kind enough to send me this beta version it's got two missions uh that we can play through here and so as you can see sorry there i gotta get my headphones right um as you can see there will be a campaign and my understanding is there will be up to and maybe even more than 20 different missions and you can branch out on that campaign but we've got two of them one of them is this rearm and resupply supply and just for those that aren't familiar warhammer 40k is this entire sci-fi universe it's set in the 41st century there's the empire of man that has expanded out from earth and they have kind of taken over the entire uh universe i guess or galaxy universe galaxy uh anyway and there's now different sorts of men out there, different groups of men, but there are also what are called Xenos, and Xenos are aliens, and we will be fighting the Tyranids. Now, the Tyranids are the main foe in this game. Uh, they are kind of a mixture between uh tyrannosaurs you know dinosaurs and insects okay uh they kind of have this special ability they have a hive mind and they have this special ability where they can poison you um but yeah so we're on a planet called ball secundus and in Warty warhammer 40k lore there was a massive battle when uh, fleet leviathan fleet leviathan was the original tyranid fleet that kind of started to get into the iron empire of man uh into its territory there was a massive battle that happened out near ball and its two moons they were just well they had actually been destroyed before i i guess uh through nuclear holocaust uh that's a whole different story i guess but anyway um, these Tyranids are here now, and we've been sent on various missions. We've only got two now. Let's listen to this. Okay, well, hopefully you could hear all that, uh, but basically to recap, that's Sergeant Corleone. He's going to be leading our troops. He was talking about someone named Brother Arturo. Now, there is kind of a religious aspect to Warhammer 40K. They've developed uh, kind of their own religion that actually worships the Emperor of Man, even though supposedly he doesn't want to be worshipped, uh, but that's sprung up. Now, 
brother Arturo will be along with us. He can heal troops. He can do things like that, kind of more uh, mystical kind of things, if you will. Sergeant Corleone can give our troops special buffs. And so let's read through here. Lord Commander Dante intends to swell the ranks of the 10th Scout Company with an unprecedented number of new recruits. But for now, the only reinforcements available to rebuild the chapter are the new Primaris that disembark from Archmagos's call... Archmagos calls Freighter Hulk. Following the Leviathan's invasion, High Priest Brother Corbello has led the sanguinary priesthood through the morbid task of recovering the progenoid glands of every battle brother who lost their life defending Holy Ball. Brother Arturo's continuation of this work on Ball Secundus, which is where we're going to be, that is that, is vital for the continuation of the Blood Angels and its successor chapters that fought here. Okay, there's a lot of history here that if you're not familiar with Warhammer 40k, uh, you're not going to pick up just watching these videos, believe me. I will link, if you're interested in this, it's probably the most expansive sci-fi world that exists, the Warhammer 40k world. If you're interested, there's a guy named Luton09 who makes amazing videos. I wish he would just do regular history, like world history, uh, because he is really fantastic into going into this lore. But let's play the game. Uh, proceed! There you see the scout ship there. Kind of cool. Um, yeah, so let's get down here on the map. Load, you son of a gun. And we'll press space to continue. Now then, eh, we're going to skip that, okay? We've seen enough of that. Okay, now then, when the game comes out, you will be able to pick your own troops. Uh, we really can't do that now. We're just in the beta. Subject to change. All right. So we're just in the beta. We can't really pick our troops out here, but you can see the ones that have already been picked for us. Sergeant Corleone, the aforementioned Sergeant Corleone. Uh, we have Brother Aturo, who's here, and you can see their main weapons. And you can also see here later on, you'll be able to put different weapons in different slots. We can't really do that now. They've got a bolt pistol and a chainsword. In Warhammer 40K, they love to use the chainsaws, baby. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, it's kind of cool when you see it. It's funny. Um, we've got aggressors, aggressors, aggressors. Looks like we've got three cohorts of aggressors. Uh, they are, are kind of more elite troops. And then we have intercessors here, which are more of just kind of our ground infantry. They're our regular infantry. We've got four cohorts of them. Okay, so we're just going to proceed with uh, the default, what we were given. And it's giving, we got five extra hit points there just to get everybody topped off. And if you go over your groups here, you can see what they are. Each person has their own, uh, each person, each troop here has his own hit points. You can see there 115 for the aggressors. You can see their weapon loadout and you can see any special abilities just in that little box. All right. You can see more of that when we click on them. As you can see over here, Sergeant Corleone is who we have selected. And there's Sergeant Corleone. There's Brother Aturo. And let's whip the camera around here and get down even close to them on ground level. Brother Aturo looking pretty cool with his big... Uh, <laughs> that is that is one heck of a chainsaw he's got there. And, and our guy over here, Sergeant Corleone, has that as well. Now, I've talked to certain people that are much more into Warhammer 40k than I am. Now, I probably know more about Warhammer 40k lore than 99.8% of the population. But for those of you that are super into it, don't yell at I me. Mean, correct me in the comments if I get something wrong, but don't yell at me. I'm doing my best. I, you know, I know a lot about Warhammer 40k in general. I don't know. I haven't read these books per se about uh, Ball and Ball Secundus and you know the Fleet Leviathan. I haven't read those books. So if I get something a little wrong, hey, check that out. Whoa! All right, that's cool. You can really get up close on these guys. All right, so these are our troops. Oh, anyway, anybody that I've talked to that is into this says that this looks really good. And for somebody really into 40K, you know, the, it's a miniature tabletop game and they paint all of their own armies and stuff. And so, you know, I mean, they're very particular about how they're represented. And whoa, there we go. Now, who are we fighting? It's the Tyranids. And the Tyranids, as I said, I don't know, they kind of look like... Um, Alien, like the movie Alien, they kind of look like uh, sort of like they could sort of be dinosaur 
uh, but they have some like insectoid abilities and they have a hive mind as you can see here uh yeah those look dangerous okay uh let's scoot all the way back up and just look around a little bit what are we dealing with here uh well as we can see okay this is where we're trying to get to this is the mission is to get here and secure the munitions bunker so it's telling us that we have to get to this location so if we go back over here and we look at the ramp all right there seems to be one ramp up here i don't think there's any other way to get up here uh, it looks like sheer cliff now i guess maybe uh you can interact with things in the world it's possible we could you know get up through here somehow but i don't think that's really the point of this mission i think it's to take on the tyranids straight on try to get up that ramp and try to get to that location all right so how are we going to do that well if you get over here to the left you can see they very nicely kind of uh, spaced out are different sorts of troops and these uh, we've got four of these intercessors and it will say troop they are kind of our ground infantry okay our basic infantry let's put it that way then we have those aggressors we have three of squads of those uh, and there are elite troops that's what it says up there and then we have two headquarters units sergeant corleone and brother aturo all right excellent now what we can see right now it looks like we've got three groups of tyranids up here all right now how are we going to go about this well we got a big rock in the middle and let's uh actually let me get the map kind of turned around there um we've got a rock in the middle so we'll probably send one half this way one half this way never split your forces right but uh, we're going to this time it looks like okay so yeah, heavy fire. Whoa, he sounded intense. Uh, we've got aggressors there, aggressors there. So these are our elite units. So we have two over here and one over here of our elite units. That's fine. And then we've got uh, what looks like two of our basic infantry over on the left. And we've got, you know, two over here on the right. So we'll just send these three to the right and we'll send these four to the left but first we got to deal with these well luckily we have ranged weapons okay and so let's get back here on our let's get back here on our first ground troop infantry and let's look down here at what they can do they could move and if you look over here it says evasion this is just a score and then an armor score okay and so uh you can see what how well they can evade things how good their armor is then they have four movement points all right and that kind of roughly translates to four hexes now as you can see they cannot move through this hex because we have friendly troops there they would have to go out and around so we'll probably move them after we move these guys right and they've got what's called one action point and an action point is used to attack to launch something now these two things are sort of independent so you could launch in this case we're going to launch frag grenades if we can um and if we do that you see here it costs one ap or one action point to do that we would still then have our four movement points and can move so you can kind of do both uh for each turn but let's select on a frag grenade what else do they have they have battle line tactics okay uh, this would actually give us a little bit of a boost. Uh, and I'm not seeing that it costs us anything. It looks like we can invoke it. Affects the casting unit. Casting, you know, I think of it, it's not like a spell, not really, but you get the idea. Affects the casting unit, plus 30 range damage, plus 75 basic melee damage, and plus 4 range stability. Uh, okay. Let's click on that. Uh, because we want more ranged ability. Oh, and now you see it actually did take an AP point. I didn't see it there, uh, but it says it did take an AP point. Eh. Okay, well, we're living and we're learning, boys. All right, well, we can deal with that. That's fine. This is another intercessor group. We're going to use their frag grenades, and you can see here, deals 35 splash damage to a single enemy unit within three tiles well doesn't look like we can get to that one unless we move up okay well let's move brother aturo up one 
and he will retain all of his movement points. We can use these in any order we want to. And now let's click on the frag grenade and you can see everywhere that could go. And you can see here, when I right click on this, this is what it's targeting. The frag grenade can go up to three hexes. So let's get down on this unit and just see what happens when we frag grenade them. <laughs> well, hey, that works pretty well. I must be a master. Uh, <laughs> that, that was total annihilation. Okay, well, they're all gone. Uh, excellent. Let's move Sergeant Corleone uh, up a little bit, and let's look at what uh, Sergeant Corleone can do. He's got his two weapons. He's got his Mastercrafted bolt pistol, and that's how this game is. It'll usually, in the first two slots, this is the slot number, obviously. In the first two slots, it's got kind of their weapons, and now those could be ranged. Like, this is a pistol, right? So the range is one to three, or they've got this change sword, which is a melee, so it's within that hex, right, uh, that you're going to attack into. This does a crap ton of damage. 33 to 45 base damage, if you can get in there with the chain sword. He's also got a jet jump pack so he you can see it on his back here he can jump around the map which is kind of fun he can also bless for lack of a better term um a single target now this does cost one of his ap points but it gives them 20 uh, plus 20 melee accuracy plus 20 ranged accuracy and plus one armor piercing okay sure why not let's do it on that unit Okay, now they've got that special ability. Uh, let's move him up a couple so that we can get these this unit moved up here. All right, and we'll just, how about we bring them right in here. I want to frag grenade all both of these so we don't even really have to deal with them. Now, our, these are our elite troops, right? These are the aggressors. They can do something called Hail of Fire. The unit sacrifices all of its remaining movement points and makes a ranged attack command with four additional attacks for every movement point spent. So we still have one movement point. Eh, we don't really need that. Uh, here is our frag storm grenade launcher, okay? So we're going to click on that, and we're going to target these guys back here. We'll see how it loads up this time. Yep, well, they're gone, except for one. <laughs> one guy, he just barely, barely made it. Uh, okay, that works pretty well. Uh, let's get one of these other units back here that don't have, you know, they're, they're not our elite troops. These are our basic troops. Uh, okay, we're going to frag storm launch again, and we're going to do it on these guys. Uh, and again, wow, these grenades uh, working pretty well. Working pretty well, guys. I like it. Uh, okay, so we're going to keep, we're going to use the rest of our movement points with these units and get them up here as far as we can. All right, and I'm going to send Sergeant Corleone with the right uh, flank here, and we're going to put uh, Brother Arturo, or Aturo, I should say, not Arturo. I don't think he's Hispanic. Maybe he is. I don't know. Uh, Brother Aturo over here to the left and we don't really see anything over here to the left so we may as well go as far as we can um if anything does come around this corner we may as well have somebody over here just to kind of guard against that now again these are our elite troops i don't know should we put our ground infantry in front and our elite troops in back yeah maybe maybe um we'll bring these guys over here they see they were going to run out and then we'll bring one more unit up here in the front. Those are our elite troops again. So we've got two groups of elite troops over there. Where's that three? Okay, so we've got aggressors there. We've got aggressors there. We've got intercessors. And then over here, what do we have? We have aggressors. So elite and intercessors. And then we've got two other units of intercessors here or ground troops. Let's bring these guys up here and let's see if we could got enough range to shoot at this guy. Nope, they don't have any action points left. They were actually the guys that we used to, you know, send out that launcher. 
Let's bring these guys up here and around Sergeant Corleone. I think they have action points left. Let's see if they have enough range. They do. Okay. And so the game will automatically put kind of what you have on slot one. If you hover over here, you can now see that. What is this called? It's our bolt rifle. It's got a range of one to six. Now you can see down there, accuracy falls off by 10 percentage points each tile. So he is a little bit away, but let's see how accurate they are. Yep, pretty accurate. See you, buddy. <laughs> that works. All right, now let's go through our unused units. Now you see Sor Sergeant Corleone still has an action point left. Uh, there's nothing he can really do with it. And you can see some of these special abilities have uh, cooldown periods. In this case, it's only one turn. He will have this back next time when we hit next turn. If it said two or three, he couldn't get it back, obviously, for that many turns. He could run his little jetpack around, uh, which is always kind of fun. Let's just do it. Let's just do it to show it. Uh, let's have him jetpack over here if he can. Uh, can you? No, I don't think he can. He doesn't have... Uh, let's see. Where else could he jetpack? Oh, it's saying we could go forward. I guess his jetpack can't go sideways, unfortunately. There's nothing really out here. So just for the heck of it, I'm going to jetpack him up here just because I think it's fun. I guess when you take off on the jetpack, you can't land right next to it because the jetpack's very powerful. So let's just bring him up here. He can lead the charge, mainly because I want to see his jetpack take off. Whoa, 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 I lost him. <laughs> All right, there he is. All right, so Sergeant Corleone's leading us forward. Now, you cannot take these action points with you to the next turn, so there's no real reason to, you know, hold on to them. Uh, let's see if uh, Brother Aturo can do anything else. He can do Embrace the Blood. It energizes the red thirst of a single friendly unit within two tiles, which gives them momentum. Now, momentum, as they get 100 momentum points, it gives them certain buffs and bonuses because it means you're attacking um, and they're, they're getting their blood up, right? And I guess with the Blood Angels, uh, one of their weaknesses actually in their genetic code is they can have this red thirst where they just kind of go berserker style. And uh, this, I guess, Brother Aturo can invoke that on them and they just start going nuts and attacking things. He could do a Righteous Exhortation, which gives them plus 25% uh, melee damage. He can heal them. So he can give them back... Um, 35 of their hit points and these hit points work just like other role-playing games so they've got 80 hit points if they start to take damage you know and that goes down he can give uh, one unit all of them 35 hit points back that ain't bad uh okay i think we're almost done here let me bring up something um Oh, I just wanted to see, uh, hey, we got a few people by here. Yeah, well, I haven't done many of these. Uh, well, this is only the second one of this game, but outside of Grigsby games, I haven't done a lot of live streams. Uh, but that's great. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad several of you stopped by. I really appreciate it. Uh, okay, so Brother Arturo is going to stay right here. Let's go check this guy out again. Whoa, a little too far. I really like his armor. Look at that. I, it'd be hard to throw something with that, I think. This, it just kills me, this big chainsaw. I love it. Uh, okay, uh, let's go through our units and make sure we don't have any unused points. Now, these guys, they have one action point left. If they have any action points left at the end, it'll ask us if we want to set them to Overwatch. And you have Overwatch right here, which is very helpful because as the Tyranids do their turn, if something were to come around this rock, they'll fire at it. Okay, so they're running, you know, it's Overwatch. You, you understand. Um, you can also, you know, change their facing. So it's kind of like Field of Glory 2, right? Uh, if they're faced this way, they've got a turn to fire at things that will take a movement point, could take more than one. 
This is move, of course. We have no movement points left, one action point left. They, don't, they can't do anything really with their action points uh, at this point unless they see an enemy. They're not really like specialized headquarters units like these guys, like Aturo and Corleone, who can you know give you buffs or do things like that. So I think we moved through everything. They still, some of these still have some points left, but there's not, not a whole lot we can do with it if we can't move them. Now, you may see these red dots. What does that mean? Well, if they do have an, a movement point left, or I'm sorry, if they have an action point left, they can use that as a movement point if they wish. But be careful with this, right, if you're doing it early in a turn, because if they did go to this extended range, I'll call it, or extended movement, they can't then do any attacks or anything. It would take up their remaining action point. But we're going to end the turn, and this is where you say overwatch and confirm. Now, it says that if they have any instant action points, they will suffer a momentum penalty. As I said, if you get to 100 momentum points, and every time you kill an enemy unit, you get momentum points. If you get up to 100, they get certain bonuses and buffs, but we're going to go ahead and overwatch early here anyway. And you see they just got their APs back. Now, the Tyranids move like this. They, they kind of... I don't know if they're actually, um, like, teleporting in... Uh, if that's what that is, or if it's just you can sense something and hear that, that's why we're on Overwatch. <laughs> See, they just fired when they saw the Terranids moving, and that is what Overwatch is. It's a defensive. Hey, we got some hovercraft. All right. All right, Corleone likes seeing the land speeders show up. So, what just happened? Well, uh, it kind of happened quickly. But we did get some land speeders. Uh, what are they called exactly? I don't want any of you Warhammer 40k people yelling at me and say they're not called land speeders. They remind me of what Luke was running around on Tatooine in, right? They are called land speeders. Okay. Uh, <laughs> good. Thank goodness. And if we go down and look at these, actually, let's turn the, let's turn the um, camera the other way and go look at these. I mean, they're really dressed out. I mean, they really show you everything. And we've got two different uh, guys here. One guy driving, evidently, and one guy with a big, nice gun there ready to protect the land speeders. So let's zoom out, and we'll flip this around. Now, where are they in relation? Our troops are up here and over to the left, and you can also see, almost see the zone here where they are or how far they can see. And so we're going to try to catch up to them and help them out. All right. Now then, what does a land speeder have? It has the heavy bolter. That's what that uh, weapons guy is carrying. He's got a range of one to six, a base damage of five to, of set, base damage of five to seven points. It is armor piercing. It's got a pretty good accuracy, but that does fall off per hex that you're away. Now, can we see anything else out here? Maybe around the rock? Nope. I don't see anything else. So let's move one of these up here as close as I dare. We'll go out here by this volcano. Uh, no, this looks like a meteor hole, right? Uh, okay, we're within two of it. Let's hope he does damage. That might be a little close. Now, he's only got the one weapon, right? So if I float over this, it pulls up that weapon. And if I right-click, it starts shooting Terranids. <laughs> All right. This may have been a little close because now we've uncovered them. And I think we're going to be in range of attack. Uh, but too late to cry over it now, gents. All right, we're going to move the other one right up here, and we'll also follow on them. Well, there's two left, and we've got a whole nother pack of them back here. That could be some problems. How many hit points? We've got 150 per land speeder. Okay, uh, I should probably speed up the scroll on this game. Now, this is something that I could have uh, done. It's not the game's fault. That's my fault. Okay. Now, where are we trying to go? Well, now we know we've got Tyranids over here on our left flank. We've already overwatched them a bit, and we've got to deal with them. And really what I'm going to do with the left flank then is turn and deal with that, and the guys on the right flank are going to try to start getting up the gangway here and get up here. 
we're going to take a left turn up there and our goal is there all right you can see the blood angels are the ninth legion hey maybe we'll get a helicopter in here or something uh let's let's see what happens um let's put our basic we'll put one unit of our basic ground troops uh they can't move quite as far can they these are our elite yeah, I guess they can kind of go the same different distance. Okay, uh, let's move them up there. That's four movement points, and they'll still have an action point left, but we're not seeing anything unless we just spotted something up here. Not seeing anything yet. We haven't seen anything to the right yet, but we got to be careful about that. Let's move one unit of the elite troops up, and we'll leave Corleone kind of behind them in a command position here. Uh, then we'll move more of our general ground troops up this way. And since these guys are going to be dealing with this threat over here, I'm going to move this other unit this way. And they can kind of maybe move up the left side of the plank here while everybody else is dealing with this. All right. Now then, uh, we haven't, again, we didn't see anything over here to the right. So now we got to kind of really game out how we're going to do this we can use all of our movement points and still fire or we could get up on top of these things and get into a melee with them with our you know really heavy stuff but i don't know there we don't know how many are out here right so we don't really want to get into a melee with them yet let's move this unit out kind of as far as we can uh i still want to be able to turn and face them though uh, so let's go out three. Okay. And now we'll turn and face them. Excellent. All right. Now let's go ahead and fire here. Now we could do this bolt storm. That's melee, so we can't use that. We could do our frag storms again. Man, these things are deadly as heck. Or we could do our, you know, kind of like our guns. Um, I say we do a grenade launch again. That seems to tear these things up. Enemy is too close, right? So it's one, two, three, four. We, we would have to do these guys. Ah, that's fine. Yep, that really tears them up. Uh, okay, I like the frag storm. Uh, just for fun, I don't want to keep doing the grenade over and over. Let's uh, let's move these guys, I don't know, here. And let's fire with our something else. All right, we're going to turn their facing. And let's see what else we can do here. Bolt storm gauntlet. Frag storm. We already did that. Um, this is the melee. And this is that hail of fire. So we still have two movement points left. Let's pick on this uh, as our action this time, and let's see how this works. This is the hailstorm. <laughs> okay, that, that's a nice gun. I like that. Um, and we got to do double that because we still had two movement points left. Now that will take two turns to reload that uh, hailstorm. All right. Let's move these guys up here and try to deal with the rest of it. And we'll run them up there. We'll turn their facing there. And also, let's bring up Brother Aturo here. Now, nobody's taking any damage, so he doesn't really have to heal anybody yet. Let's move him up here, and we'll have him do something special. Uh, not that... Uh, we don't need melee damage. What was this one? Well, do I, I don't really want him to do the red thirst yet. We'll wait on that. Uh, melee, we're not doing melee. Heal thy brother. Nah, we're not really doing any of that. Now, he could fire his bolt pistol, but these guys are in the way now. Let's just actually see if we can, if we can shoot through there. Oh, we can. Okay. So if you have a ranged weapon, you can go through troops. So let's just have him fire his bolt pistol. Okay, well, he did a little damage. I'll take it. Now, these guys still have their action point left. And so... Anything left? 
from what I can tell, there ain't much left there, boys. Uh, we've got Tyranids down here, another pack, all right, but okay. Um, we've got a lot of firepower out here, it seems. Now, let's move through our units and see what else we have left. Uh, that's got an action point. I want to save that because I think we're going to run into some real resistance here. When I say save it, you can't take it to the next turn, but they can use it for overwatch. And so I'm going to, you know, if they have an action point left, great. This one does two. This one does two. They didn't have to fire at anything. I'll move up. I will move up the sergeant, the good sergeant. Can he do anything that we really want? Not really. Okay, now then, we'll look around here, just make sure we've already looked at those units. This unit still has an action point. If you want to manually set the overwatch, you can do it like this, and you can kind of put it how far out here you want it to go. The further the range, the less damage they'll do. But let's do this one in case they sneak around this rock. So now they've used their action point. This will automatically happen if they have action points left, but I just wanted to show you that. Um, I guess we could have used it on that, and they would have been automatically in Overwatch, but okay, whatever. Uh, okay, I think we've done everybody. Let's end our turn here, Overwatch and confirm. Now, it does hurt their momentum, but I think at this point, it's more important to make sure we don't get uh, sabotage. Oh, we got something new here. Ooh, look at that. Now, that's poison. Uh, yeah, these are kind of like their elite Tyranids. And they put down this, like, poison thing that if it gets on you, it starts doing damage. So the, the further away we keep them, the better. Oh, we got a lot of them coming in here. Wow, it sounds like they've got gas. Uh, again, I would have to look. I'm not sure if that's something specific to the Tyranids or if this is we're, we're sensing that things are here. Um, well, everywhere where one of those shows up, that little kind of... Uh, wave thing. It seems like they have more units show up. Okay, now are they're going to attack us. Ouch. Alright. They've got little pistols themselves. I guess these are rifles. I should probably properly call them rifles. Okay. Well. Now our Overwatch units... This game is very, it's got really good blood graphics. <laughs> it's It's actually looks pretty cool, I think. All uh, right, I think it's now our turn. Oh, Marauder says XI. It, gosh darn it, Marauder, you're exactly right. I saw the I and the X, but you're right. If we turn it, it is the 11th Legion. Is that right? Uh, the Blood Angels are the 11th Legion. Hey, what's up, Zeb? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, gosh, anybody that watches my uh, War in the East 2 videos is going to laugh at me for not getting the Roman numeral right. Let's go back and look at this. Let's let's go to the tape. And you're right. It is the 11th Legion. Damn it. There are 20 legions. Two of them are lost. No one knows where they are or what has happened to them. I forget the numbers of the lost legions. Um they're all based on Primarchs and Primarchs genetic code, which came from the Emperor himself. Okay, see, I know some I know some 40k lore. Alright, let's actually let's go back to the land speeders. And yep, I should have set the scroll a little faster. Again, you can do that. Don't take that out on the game. The scroll itself it can be set much faster than that. Uh, but I'm not gonna go mess with it now. Alright, let's get our land speeders and try to take some of this nonsense out. There's nothing else they can do. They can really only just fire on these. I hate to waste it on only two. Well, we got to take them out. Okay. Now then, let's scoot this one up so we do more damage. Let's look at our heavy bolter again. Range 1 to 6, base damage 5 to 7. Now, it just says the accuracy falls off at more distance 
And so maybe, you know, of course you're not going to hit him as many times, but I'm just wondering if the base damage falls off, but I don't think it does. So we can use all the movement points we want, and we still have an action point left. So, I mean, they're going to be able to attack us next turn no matter what. So let's get up here as close as we can. Yeah. Uh-oh. We're going to take some damage next time. Uh, all right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. I don't want to see this land speeder damage. Uh, that'll be during their turn, but... Okay, now what's our situation over here on the left flank? Uh, okay, we've got one pack of their kind of base infantry, and we've got these new guys to deal with. This is called, oh, okay. So this crap that they put on the ground is called Toxic Presence. It gives plus 50% basic range damage received, Plus 50 basic melee damage received. Oh, this is defensive for them. Uh, plus 50% poison melee damage received. It expires in two turns. Okay, it's a it's an HQ command upgrade. Uh, and so they're not taking as much damage when they're in this, whatever it is, a toxic thing. Um, but when these things attack you, let me tell you, they poison you and you start taking more damage. All right. Um, let's take our base troops here. I'm going to move them out. Uh, do we frag grenade? I love these frag grenades. Um, I think we do. Let's frag grenade them. And it just told you those defensive buffs that they have from that HQ. And as you can see... It didn't really matter because our frag grenades are just killers, man. Uh, okay, so we've used up the action point. we got to get these guys out of the way. I'm almost tempted to run them up the ramp. Um, maybe I will and let these other units take care of it. Eh. Yeah, why don't we do that? Although, hold on. Let me flip around here very quickly. No, these guys are too close, and they wouldn't have an action point left. And so I'm just going to kind of scoot them over to the side here. And then we'll change their facing to face, you know, kind of this way. All right, so they'll be ready for defense next time. Now then, let's see if we can frag grenade these the big baddies. And I very much doubt these are actually their total big baddies. I'm sure there are more, but it's their HQs anyway. Um, Hail of Fire. We could do that. We could do the Bolt Storm Gauntlet, but that's a melee. We'd have to run all the way to their hex and then just start going nuts on them. Uh, I think I'm going to move up one hex, and I'm going to do this Hailstorm. Or hail of fire you can see we can get to it right it's uh all right we're gonna pick that and we're gonna do the hail of fire we did some damage but we didn't take them all the way out uh, too bad let's move this unit up as well and I think we'll have them do hail of oh they don't have one left that's right should have known that. You know what? Just to show you, just for fun, let's go do the, uh, let's do a melee. Let's get into it with them. I don't think these are good units to be attacking that way, but you know what? We're doing a, oh shoot. What does this take? No, it says it only, oh, I have to do it from here. Okay. We have to be right next to them, I think. I think. Bolt storm. Huh. I'm not sure what. Oh, no target in range. Why can't I attack these guys like that? Uh, I'm not sure on that one. I'm not sure why I can't do the melee. It says no target in range, uh, but that's not showing me the melee. Like, you know, if I did try to move here, do I have to be here because I'm not directly facing them? Is that possible? Maybe. Well, we're going to find out. And then we're going to change their facing this way. Now then, can I do it? Yeah, you got to be directly facing them. Okay, 
That's just like Field of Glory 2, right? Uh, let's melee these sons of guns and see what happens. Ooh, we're taking a lot of damage there, and I don't think we dealt much. I don't think these guys are good to melee with. I'm just going out on a limb here. I actually could have given them some kind of buff here, right? 20 plus 25 melee damage. Eh, you live and you learn. Um, we're going to have to heal them. So for this turn anyway, we're going to get Brother Aturo over here just to protect him a little bit. And we'll turn his facing. And then... Uh, yeah, let's go help out over here. Uh, I think what we're going to do is do a frag storm grenade. So we need to be within four. One, two, three. That should work. We'll get these guys over here. We'll throw a grenade and see what happens. Uh, let's turn their facing this way. And let's launch. Ooh, that hurt. Well, we killed one of them. No, we killed two of them. And this guy's only got 23 hit points left. Okay, uh, great. Well, I wanted to show you the melee. I showed you the melee. Um, now then, we've got more of these bad boys to deal with right up here. I think we'll take our basic units and move them first and grenade launch at these as well. Turn the facing. Now, I would imagine with this game, you know, they've only shown me two missions. And they're both, you know, different enough. But I would imagine you're going to have a lot of other special, unique abilities and stuff. Uh, and I really like the ones I've seen so far. Oh, these only have a range of three. That's right. Okay. One, two. Ooh, we can't quite get there. Eh, crap. All right. We're going to leave him there for now. Let's see. Okay, we're going to give one of the... These guys can launch frag grenades up to a better... Well, they could do Hail of Fire, Bolt Storm. They've already done their frags. Okay. Let's get them up on the gangway. And let's also move our sergeant up here. And he's going to go ahead and bless, you know give them that special ability. So tactical precision, we'll give them that. Okay, now, now we're going to do hail of fire. See how that works. Not great. We didn't do a lot of damage there, unfortunately. Um, we're going to have to start moving some of these troops over here because we these these are big baddies. Uh, intercessors, okay. Let's get you moving up here. We're on the plank. We're going to grenade them. You know that. Mm, didn't do a whole lot. These guys, we're going to move here. And the only thing we've got left, or the only thing they could... Oh, nope, they got a frag grenade, but it can't get there. That's what we just talked about. So the only thing they can use is their bolt rifle. And let's see if they can do any damage. Eh, not bad, not bad, right? We got the one here that took some damage. So that's not bad. Alrighty, uh, can we move anything else? He's still got an action point left. We could jump pack him around just for fun. <laughs> but I think I'll I'll hold on that. He's got two action points left. Uh, none of these need any healing. We've got 115, 80s all across the board there. This has got a little damage, but I don't want to, you know, it's not worth using it on that. I'm very interested to see how much damage they deal on us here uh, when they take their turn. We're still not going to... I will do this before the end of this scenario. We'll just embrace the blood, man. And we'll, we'll see how nuts they get. Uh, I'll also do this one. I should have done that one this time, but... Okay, we've done everything we can do. Let's end the turn. We'll get everybody in Overwatch. That can be in Overwatch. Now, see, they've been poisoned because they're standing on this. It gives them negative 30 hit points. Oh, boy. These suckers, when they get their tendrils going, now they were in Overwatch, right? 
And it goes into slow motion when it's Overwatch. Ooh, ouch. It's like an it's like an uh, exposed brain. Ooh, okay. Now they've got their regular troops, and you can shoot through. So those don't do a ton of damage with their little bolts. I can tell you they can attack you with their claw or what I don't know what is that? Is it like a claw? They can attack you with those, and they do a lot more damage. So they're dangerous in melee. Ooh, this guy just absolutely passed gas on our group here. Uh, oh, we killed him. Okay, so when they attacked us melee, when they attacked us melee, we got an, a, a like a defense attack, as you will in a game like Field of Glory 2. You get one of those. Boy, we got a lot of packs on the way here. Oh, they retreated. Yeah, they are. Okay. Now, there's one other thing to talk about that I haven't covered yet, and it's this command points down here. So Corleone, since he's in command, if we click on this, you can see... We can get special commands. And what this is essentially is calling in air power. Um, fires 12 times per tile for four tiles in a line, dealing 40 damage per shot with an accuracy of 85 and an armor piercing value of two. This ability damages both enemies and allies. Okay, so you call in a strafing run uh, for lack of a better term. But we don't really have... I mean, I guess we could do it right here, right? Because it does four tiles in a row. And so if we can get these things lined up a little bit, that could be good. We could do it here, but it, there's the potential it could also hurt our friendly troops. And so that might be a little bit cavalier, my friends. Um, all right. Let's now, where do we want to go next? Well, we are always start back with the land speeders. So let's scroll slowly back here to our land speeders and try to take, you know, we're running into a lot of resistance here to try to get the land speeders up. Uh, this looks good. We'll do it from a distance of two. Did a lot of damage there. Okay, excellent. Maybe we can finally get these guys on a roll and get them up to help. And then we'll do this with their rifle. Okay, all good, all done. Now we can continue using movement points. So we'll get him going. I like the way they fling with the terrain when they fly as a land speeder. Uh, all right, so we've moved that up. And let's get back over here. Where are we? Turn the camera, buddy. All right. Uh, and then here are our is our main group. And let's get back around here. I think we've now killed everything over this way. Uh, I don't think there's anything left. Let's make sure. Nothing we've spotted anyway. All right, these guys need to be healed. And so let's get them over here closer to Brother Aturo, get them behind the other troops, and I'll do this healing spell. You can kind of see what that's all about. All right, so they're moving up now. Brother Aturo comes over. He's like, what's up, guys? What's going on? You're looking a little damaged. Heal thy brother. And we just right-click on that. All right, so he's healed them up, and now they're back all the way almost to full strength. The one guy took a lot more damage. They are still poisoned. You can see that in this little pop-up. Um, and we could click on them. You could see that as well, I think. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. I'm sure there's some way you can see it. Uh, now then, what are we going to do here? We've got these guys. These We've got like four groups we've got to deal with. Well, oh, here's another command we haven't dealt with yet, fallback. This allows you to fall back with the same facing. It's almost like a retreat, but... They can attack you as you start to fall back, but you can also fire at them. So it's like you both, they get an attack of opportunity. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead. 
We could do a grenade, but we can't do the guys right next to us, which is what we really got to take care of. So let's just fire at them. Okay, those rifles are doing no good against these guys, so we've got to figure something else out. Um, let's go over here. Let's have Corleone give them tactical precision for these guys. All right. Now they've got better rain or better on their range when they do something. I wonder if they're going to be better as melee troops. Now these guys were pretty good against the melee. Um, oh, whoops. Let's go ahead and have him fire. Yep. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to have him melee here in a minute with that chain sword. Uh, okay, let's have them. We could do the frag storm. We could do the bolt storm gauntlet, which is the melee. Or we could just do this. Now, we can't do that hail of fire, unfortunately. So we're just going to do this one this time, which is our basic weapon. Not great. Not great. I'm almost tempted to have these guys fall back. Uh, they could do battle line. They can't do... Hmm. All right. I'm going to have them fall back just to kind of show you how that works. And we'll have them fall back. We'll have them fall back to here. Oh, they did turn. Okay, that's my fault. So they do fully... All right, I guess I hadn't done that before. They do... I'm surprised when with fall back, they don't do it. There must be some way to do that. Sorry. Um. Okay, no APs left. No APs left. No A o or APs left. We do then... We need to start bringing these guys over here to help us out. They are out of Hail of Fire... They do have Bolt Storm Gauntlet, uh, so they could melee. Let's move them over here. And I don't know if we can run up on these guys and melee them like that, but let's try it. Hmm. Yeah, we can't do that one again. We can't click on that. So we can't like go through here and try to melee with them because we're not directly in front of them. Uh, okay, well, they're going to have to do this. All right, we did some damage. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's not perfect yet. Uh, let's come around here with these guys. Do they have any frags left? Let's change their facing to this way. Uh, they've already used their grenades. Okay, maybe I used a few too many grenades right off the top. All right, we killed one of them. Not great, but uh, better than nothing. I'm going to have these guys stay down here. Can we change their facing again? Yeah, we can. I'm going to have them stay down here and just kind of protect our back, for lack of a better term. How far over here can I get these guys? Get them here. Now then, again, I used all my dang grenades. Uh, they're going to have to use the bolt rifle, and we're going to shoot into these guys again. Hey, we killed them both. All right. Yeah, they didn't have a whole lot left. Now, we've still got these two big bads, and we didn't even touch these guys. Uh, so we're probably going to take some real damage here. All right. They still have an action point left, but there's... Well, let's see. Can they get it up there? They can. Interesting. They also have the grenade launcher. Will they? Yeah, they're going to turn and fire. Okay, let's do that. And let's do into the big baddies. Okay, we did a little damage. Uh, now, if we get attacked from behind here, we're in a little bit of trouble. But that's, that's, uh, that's good. That worked out all right. Uh, Brother Aturo, what do you want to do, buddy? I think I'll leave him here. I'll have him face this way. 
There we go. All right. Uh, do we have anybody else to move? Nope. Just our two HQs. Let's end the turn. We'll do Overwatch and continue. They all kind of lose. Now, you saw that, right? They were poisoned, I think, that last two turns. And so if they, you know, got poisoned by these things, they lose 30 hit points a turn. Yep. Too bad. Now we're going to get poisoned again because, well, hold on. They don't have their little green uh, junk all over the ground. So I don't think we're going to get poisoned there. Well, don't speak so soon. Don't speak so soon, right? I like how when in Overwatch, this goes into slow-mo, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So we're just hitting them with those single bolt guns from Corleone and Aturo. Get out of here. Surprised they haven't brought in more reinforcements. Now I will say for the beta, well, this is exactly what I was talking about. And see, when they do it with their claws, they're good melee troops. They add, they cause like 20 and 30 points damage there. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, wow. We're getting attacked from behind. And here comes a whole lot more. They're swarming the base, literally. All right, we got a lot more to get through here. A lot more. Okay, let's take our not as good a troops these guys well let's see how are we going to deal with this we're getting attacked uh from behind well let's go back to our land speeders as i like to do i think our land speeders yeah i think we can come right down here i don't think we have to go this way but maybe we want to to help out with some of those things that are attacking us from the rear and let's take him Ah, gosh, I wish you could get a little further. Now, we have no need for that action point this time. They've got one. At least with one of these, I think that we can take it to its further furthest extent, which also uses our action point, but that's fine. we got to get these suckers moving out. Now, him, I won't do that just in case there's something up here ahead and we need an action point for Overwatch to you know shoot anything that might be moving out here. God, it's going to take them too long to get around here. I don't think they can help us that much. Uh, it may be more helpful to bring them this way. Uh, well, we'll look at that next time. Uh, okay, this is elite troops, right? The aggressors. Uh, we want the... Bro Where are they at here? Um, for hit points. Let's click on them. Let's click on them. Let's go over to the brother. Now let's get over to them. 64, 107, and 68. Yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it for him to heal them again. All right. Now they're almost all the way back to full strength. Now then, what do we want to use here? Um, I think this is exactly what we want to do. Hail of fire. We're only one away. So I think it'll fire at them four times because you get to fire for every movement point you have left. That was a lot of damage. Uh, I'm surprised that didn't completely destroy them. Okay. Now we do have our frag grenade back. You know, that's got me excited. We could just get rid of these for sure with this grenade. I think I want to do that. I just don't want to mess with them. Arrivederci. Okay. Uh, that did that. Now then, so we've used these two. This unit here. Should we just try this bolt storm? Um, 
We could also have Corleone bless one of these troops with something, or buff him. Let's put it that way, buff him. I don't think he does the blessing. That's the brother. Okay, we're just going to hit him with our regular bolt rifles. Eh, we took out most of them. I maybe could have done a melee there, although I feel like they're really good melee-wise. Um, do I dare have these turn their back to these clowns? Maybe not. All right, he's got no action points left. Can he get up here? He can, but it costs extra to go through these troops. They could move up here. Now, there's poison there, my friends. Poison. All right. Let's have them go ahead and try to kill him. Oh, come on, take him out. Shoot, that did not work as planned. Uh, these guys then, we'll have them come up here. Oh, crap. Uh, wow, since they were behind us, they could attack us when we moved. Uh, good to know, good to know. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take Corleone, and I'm going to have him use his chainsword to try to take these guys out. Let's see how that works. Let's see how he works with this chainsword. Yes! <laughs> he only can kill one of them, but that was fun. Uh, I guess he could do that again. He only takes out one at a time, though. Um, oh, hell. Why not? I love the chainsword. All right, let's do that again. They're like, no, no, not this guy with his chainsaw. Okay. Excellent. Um, whoops. We got these guys still have their action point left. Let's get them up here. Let's have them take this guy out, hopefully. That's the end of him. Now, how? who's got action points left? You do. Oh, boy. We've got like four packs of these things up here. All right, we're going to move them to the center of the bridge. And we're going to do Hail of Fire, I think. Or should I do the Grenade Launcher? Oh, you know I'm going to do the Grenade Launcher. Enemy is too close there. Oh, wow. So, man, they have to shoot this out at least four or five. That's fine. I mean, it kills the whole pack, so... Uh, next turn, we should be able to take care of all of them. All right, who's got points left? Who can help me out here? I've still got a couple of these guys back here behind me. Oh, you know what? Let's get the brother over here to, like, do some business. With his chainsword? Oh, he can't get all the way over here. All right, he's just going to shoot his uh, bolt rifle. Maybe he'll kill one of them. Well, if he could hit anything, he would. Nope. Uh, our land speeder could move again if we wanted it to. Uh, we're going to keep that in, like, Overwatch. All right, we've used everything else. Let's end that turn. Overwatch and confirm. Now they're poisoned because they're in this green muck that was there. Uh-oh. There might... there might be more coming for the land speeders. Ooh, we lost a guy. We lost two guys. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Now we're about to get attacked here, too. We're not taking a lot of damage, but it's adding up a little bit back here. You can see this... This gangway is getting bloody out here. And another pack. Man, they just keep coming. Okay. Brother, or uh, Sergeant Corleone, come on, man. I need more out of you. All right, let's go back to the land speeders. 
Uh, we've got this group up here. I think we have to deal with them because actually I would expect the land speeders to be able to get further than five or six hexes. I think they only have Muma points that's like one more than a ground unit or maybe two. I don't think it's... I, th I feel like it should be more. Now these are good in melee, so I'm going to try to take two... I'm going to keep it two away. Uh, sure. Ooh, that's poisoned up there. Oh, we got some big bads, too. We just spotted them. Um, That's not good. Do I back this guy up? I don't want him to turn around, though. But I think we can use change the facing. He's like, whoops, okay. Uh, right, all right. Now then, let's try to hit them and do what we can do. Because we got to take care of them before these guys get down to us. We may end up losing a couple of land speeders here. I kind of wonder if I should have just turned the corner here and hauled ass. <laughs> uh, you know what? One of them. We're going to... These guys are going to make the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, we're going to get one land speeder up here. Uh, thanks. They'll, you'll always be remembered by the bards. Uh, okay. Um, now then. Let's go back here. I don't see anything coming up this way. Now, that doesn't mean they're not going to, but I don't see anything right now. These guys are our better shock troops. So let's move the camera around. Let's get zoomed out. Okay, so we're on them. We've got intercessors, which are not our best troops. We're going to drop them back here. How about like right there? next to the good brother, and he's going to heal them. Heal thy brother. All right. And they've got plus 35. Now then, let's get all of our elite troops moving forward. I think we can use these intercessors to take these guys out. Now the problem is, they attack us from behind, but we're going to take our chances here. So we're going to... Ooh, we could do a frag grenade too. Can he reach? Can they reach there? Oh, frag grenade. Yeah, let's see. Frag grenade. Oh, no, we can't use that. Um, it's because we're not facing anything. Or nothing's in range for that. Let's move up one. And let's see if they'll attack us from behind. Okay, they didn't. We must be out of frag grenades. It's not allowing me to do it, so I'm assuming that's what that means. All right, so we're getting our elite troops up here, and we're just going to have to go at it. Uh, what else can we do? Nope. Okay. I mean, that does some real damage, so that helps. We're going to take these guys then, and we'll do the same... What else do we have here? What is this? Oh, this is Hail of Fire. Right, right. Yeah, let's do that. Um, We'll do Hail of Fire. All right. I wish I still had another action point left with those bad boys. Now, one of the things they do here is, you know, they can now not move. They only have one movement point. I'm going to move them back, get out of the way. Then I do have some more aggressors here. Uh, do they have any frag grenades left? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so you only have a specific loadout. That's fine. That's good. Actually, I like that. You know, makes it a little more challenging. They can do hail of fire. Now there's nothing left there, right? I mean, those are all dead. We have some there. So let's do a hail of fire against these guys. Okay, making progress. Uh, let's turn the facing of this unit I brought back here. Okay. Now then, I've got these guys, or I've got these guys. I'm going to go ahead and move them here. I'm going to have them try to take these guys out. Okay. Okay. All done. Excellent. Uh, now then, let's get them moving up the gangway as well. And 
I don't think... Yeah, they still have all their movement and action points. Ah, shoot. Okay, uh, can we move anybody to get out of the way so they can come up here and do something? I don't think so. Yeah, that was a bad move. But that's all right. Uh, they could still move one more, but there's nowhere to go. These guys... Ah, uh, no frag grenades left, unfortunately. I kept clicking it like maybe that would happen, but it didn't happen. Uh, we've repaired these guys. Repaired them. We've healed them a bit. We'll get we'll get the good brother up here. Um, can he do anything? He could embrace the blood. We'll do that next time just for fun. Uh, we could also do this righteous exhortation. We haven't tried that yet. Uh, we'll have him on his bolt pistol. Can he reach anything? Does he have... No, out of range. There's nothing else that's in his range. All right. Uh, we're still not seeing anything back here. And these uh, aggressors are elite troops. So let's get them moving. Let's get them moving up this way. And we'll turn them to face forward. Right, will we? Now, let's leave them like this, just in case something comes from around this rock. Now, we got to hope something doesn't come running out this way. Uh, but let's see if we can move anybody else. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, these guys have any grenades left? Bolt storms, no, 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 no. Okay, I think we're good for that turn. It's in that. Overwatch and confirm. Mm, we've got things material. Oh, boy. I hate when they get the gas back here. Uh... Yeah, this land speeder is done for. Now, they may be smart and go after the other one, but I think I'm going to take their attention here and we can get that other land speeder away. This is not a good position to be in if you are this land speeder. Uh huh. They're starting to retreat a little bit. Yeah, they're trying to get the hell out of here. Now, we're, we're trying to get up here and around to the left, so they obviously know that. The AI knows that. Shoot and retreat. Not the, not the worst plan. All right. Can we fight our way up there is the question. Um, let's go. All right, now then, we've got a lot of, do we have any frag grenades left? I miss those. No, no, okay. Let's get up here as close as we can to the first guys and just start blowing things away to the extent we can. All right, now we've got a one turn cooldown on Hail of Fire and the grenade launcher. Uh, we could do Bolt Storp Gauntlet, so we could do a melee attack, but I'm not going to. We're just going to shoot at these guys. Okay. That's good. Now then, we don't have anybody there. Do we have... We got our frag grenades back. Our... No, I can't use it. We're out. We're out. It's showing me. It keeps showing me the hexes out there that we could use them for. They're... It's like taunting me. Um, do you? Yeah, you do. You do, my friend. Now, these come off their shoulders, right? I mean, if we get down in here, they've got their grenade launchers, like, up here on their shoulder, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't think we need to waste it on just this one guy. Let's hit this unit. See ya. Uh, that means that we need to move someone in front of them to take care of these guys oh oh that was the last one I was like wow that didn't do very much damage okay I do want to get these guys out of the way so let's turn them over here and then we'll have them face back this way I guess they could well it doesn't look like anything can get through that way so let's turn them back that way all right, we've already moved these guys, although they could go a little further up here to get off of the gangway. Let's do that. 
right and then we'll turn their facing this way and then we'll just move our intercessors up here all right looks like we got all of those that time well done bolt rifles bring him up here this is another elite unit um we don't have yeah it's going to take three turns so the more you use those grenade launchers uh the longer time on our elite troops that it takes i don't think we can get not enough action points to get anything out here oh that was uh we did shoot the grenades with them uh, i guess these are the next guys we'll bring up think they have anything left they're just intercessors all right and we've got more aggressors here our elite they may be able to launch a grenade this time let's see yeah they can do a little grenade work can you get there you sure can Adios. Adios, my friends. Uh, I'll leave these guys down here at the bottom. I'm going to put them here, and I'm going to turn them around at the bottom of the gangway, just in case something tries to get behind us. I think that works. We'll move the good brother up. Uh, we'll move the sergeant up right behind our troops. And I think that's all we can do this time. Let's make sure. Oh, we better move this land speeder and get, I'm glad I came back and saw that. Let's get him out of here. His brother's making a sacrifice back here. Uh, we better get him out. Oh yeah, we can fight. I didn't even want to come back here. I didn't want to think about it. I think that was the problem. What kind of accuracy is that? He's a dead man walking next turn, I think. Okay. He's going to go one more. We're going to try to get him out of here. That uses his action point. They've got no frag grenades left. Eh, we don't really need that. Uh, he could heal somebody. Does anybody need heal? They do a little bit. I might as well. All right. I think that's it. Let's end the turn. Overwatch and confirm. They keep appearing out of the desert. Oh, boy. And that's it. They're dead. We've got no more vision left here. Uh, it just shows it kind of cockeyed there, like uh, land speeder's done for. Okay. It's our turn again. Let's get as far over here as we can. And we're almost to the objective. They're moving out. We'll take all of our elite troops and put them on the front now. So we'll get those guys going. Put them there. Probably going to have to turn all their facing. Are we seeing anything? I don't see anything. All right. Let's do a turn. Turn them forward. Make Just make sure they're turned forward. Turn them forward. Click there. We'll turn them forward. Okay. They're all lined up. Now we've got intercessors back here. I want them to watch this door. Doesn't this look like something that uh, reinforcements would come through? I'm going to have them stay on watch here as we go after the objective. Uh, let's have uh, Sergeant Corleone come up with his jetpack because I love that. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh, we've got some more elite units back here. Gosh, we've got an embarrassment of riches. Uh, how far up here? Can, I can get all the way over here. Uh, 
And let's have them turn to face forward just to make sure. There we go. And then we've got even more. We'll just have these guys come up here and help another elite unit. Just guarding this door or anything that might come behind us. I think four units is probably enough. We'll leave them there. We'll put them on Overwatch. Anything that gets, you know, let's say around that rock. What else do we got? I think that might be, oh, our land, gosh, I keep forgetting about the land speeder. I've tried to put that out of my mind. I think we can just go hell's bells down here. Uh, we're not seeing anything, so all right. Oh, the brother Arturo, 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 not Arturo. <laughs> God dang. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you do, brother. He's up here. Nothing he really needs to do this time. We've got them on Overwatch. I think we can end our turn and see what happens. We're getting close. Oh, that's on the all specs. So we're picking up movement. I don't think the Tyranids can teleport. So... Oh, hey, it's back to our turn. We didn't pick up anything. It looks like they sent the vast majority of their troops after us. Okay. Gonna move these guys up this way. Now, this was a former base of the Empire of Man, and the Tyranids had taken it. So now we're trying to secure it back. It's a munitions bunker, evidently. Okay, you guys keep moving. We'll get uh, Sergeant Corleone up here. He's ready. We'll get Brother Aturo up here. Whoops. We'll get Brother Aturo up here. Let's see if anybody needs to be healed. I think everybody's pretty much okay. They're at full strength. Oh, this guy's about... There's a guy here about to die. Okay. Let's uh, heal there. All right. Um, I think one unit back here guarding the doors enough. We can always turn around if we need to. I'm going to have these guys going extra to their extended range. So we have more elite troops there. These guys are still kind of in, you know, guarding, guarding the rear. That all looks good to me. Let's end our turn, see what happens. We're picking up movement. I'm sure there, there's a lot more coming to the base, but we're almost to the objective now. It's a race against time. Okay, it's back to our turn. So we haven't encountered anything yet. Let's get to the objective. Mark the bunker secure, so we did. Now it says, hold the bunker against the Tyranid reinforcements. Okay, so here comes the pain. But with that, I think I'm going to call this an episode. Uh, went a little longer than I thought. Um, I like this game. It's it's fun. I love turn-based games. Uh, but this has got a lot of, you know, kind of cool mechanics that are futuristic. You feel like you're in the future a little bit, whether it be the jetpacks or the land speeders, uh, the, you know, the plasma firing rifles and whatnot. Uh, so I'm really enjoying it. Now, I've only got two missions. So when I come back next time, I'm going to play the other mission that we had started last time uh, when I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And we're going to try to figure that one out. Uh, but this has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a good time playing it, and I will talk to you next time. Have a good one, everybody.